Geely just revealed the Panda. It's a, kind of like a mini electric SUV. 7,000 US dollars in China. That's not a misprint. That's not secondhand. That's brand new. $7,000. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty funky. I like it. But I'm curious to know, if you could get one of these for $7,000, would you consider it? Even as a second car or even as a first car, if you're just getting to that point where you're about to buy your first car. What are your thoughts on this? Are they safe? Is this something you would trust your partner or your child to drive? Do you think they're worth $7,000? Or is this the kind of car where you think, hey, this is great. Let me know your thoughts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This Geely vehicle could come to market. I mean, think about it. Volvo, Polestar. That's Geely, right? Very possible. Zika. That's another Geely brand. They were formerly Chinese only. They're not anymore. There's a bunch of thousands of Zikas on their way right now to Europe. Many countries around the world in Europe are about to sell this a like a smallish electric SUV, the Zika make. Plus, it's sort of like a Volvo EX30, a little bit bigger. Plus, they've got the Zika 001. So those are two different models that we all thought, oh, China only, wish we could get them. We're not going to, but yeah, they're going all around the world. So this vehicle, could it also be sold outside of China? Of course, absolutely, definitely could. Now, all kinds of people say things like, oh, you can't register those. You, I guarantee you're gonna get some of those comments here today in this video. If there's not some of those comments, I'd be blown away. But you, can, you guys, you can. People say this stuff all the time. They don't do Google researches before they make these claims. It's not true. There are many cars registered in many countries around the world that have less safety features than these do. My friends, you don't actually have to make these comments because they're not actually true. Look at the Citroen Amy. It's way less power, less safety than this car. And the same goes for many other vehicles which are in fact road registrable. Now, do you have to meet certain um, requirements in different countries to sell EVs, uh, to sell cars, period? Yeah, you do. But those can be done. And they are already for a various range of different cars worldwide. Anyhow, Geely officially launched the Panda Night in China, priced at $7,400 US dollars. However, they're offering it at a discount already for $6,800. So yeah, that seems like a pretty good price, $6,800 to me. It's seven centimeters longer than the Panda Mini. So how big is that exactly? Well, it's pretty small. 3,135 millimeters long, so 3.1 meters, 1,565 millimeters tall, and 1,655 millimeters wide. Wheelbase is 2,015 millimeters. It's kind of considered a key car in Japan. However, the Knight is the off-road version of the Mini. And there is even a ladder on the side in addition to kind of dual color luggage racks. Would you really use this for off-roading? Probably not, but I mean, it certainly looks kind of like, kind of funky and cool. Now, my favorite thing about the car, I don't know why, but the front in particular really appeals to me. It's that really simple, classic looking design. The designers did a really good job. Remember, these are really small boxes. They're basically a box, really practical shape. Most cars are made in a weird style, they have really long bonnets like Mazda 3s. A lot of Mercedes Benz have, you know, um, AMG, the latest AMG Mercedes, they have the, the bonnets longer than the car. It's crazy. This is what makes EVs stand out. These affordable EVs are small but bigger than you would think because they're shaped like this. Now, it's hard to make a box look good um yeah i actually got down with my boys just for fun and we did some i did some boxes and i said boys turn those boxes into make them look like a car try and design a car out of that box it's it's quite difficult to do and i like to play around with you know painting and pastels and drawing and stuff it's a bit of a side hobby that i have i didn't get i didn't do so well making a box into a car but i think the designers here have done a really good job so what else does this car have that sets it apart from other electric cars. Well, first of all, it's made by Geely. It's a, a well-known brand. They make pretty good quality things. And as you can see on that interior, very simple, very minimalist, stylish. I think it is stylish, especially for $6,800. It's got a pretty nice big digital media screen in the middle. And the cockpit comes in two colors, green and white. That instrument panel you can see is 9.2 inches wide. It's got an eight inch central control screen. And it's also got a kind of a funky looking two-spoke steering wheel. 
Now, incredibly, some EVs don't have the, some of the features that this car has. In fact, a lot of them don't, especially cars made in Japan, but that's another story. It has Bluetooth, it has a remote control. You can control some of the features using your phone. It's got a remote air conditioning control, so you can basically put the air con on on a hot day before you get to your car. Like imagine if you're at the beach and it's just boiling hot in your car, set the air con. By the time you get to your car, it feels nice and cool inside. Don't burn your butt when you sit down. Anyhow, the Panda Night comes standard with functions like anti-lock braking, good safety feature, electronic brake force distribution, airbags, a battery management system. Sounds like every EV should have a battery management system, but not every EV does, especially not every EV that costs under $7,000. The seats obviously come with green stitching and the trunk space. If you put down those rear seats, you just use this as like a wagon, basically. It's 800 liters. That's what happens when you have a box and you, you try to make it as practical as possible. It's pretty cool, right? You can get that much storage into a car this small. That means you can actually store two 28 inch and two 20 inch suitcases. So what about this actual specifications? Is this thing any good? Surely not for this price. I mean, electric bicycles cost more than this. I paid about this for my electric bike. However, it actually does have some decent specs. It's got a 17 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack with a range of up to 200 kilometers. That comes with a 30 kilowatt permanent magnet synchronous motor that outputs peak torque of 110 newton meters. So 30 kilowatt doesn't sound like a lot, but actually it's, pretty, it's a pretty decent amount for a vehicle this size, 110 newton meters, that would give you enough power. Efficiency, 96.5%. The Panda Knight also has kind of, they say fast charging, but I wouldn't call it fast. 22 kilowatt DC fast charging, but it is a small battery, so it wouldn't take too long to charge it. 3.3 kilowatt AC slow charging. Fast charging from 30 to 80% takes 30 minutes, according to Geely. Now, Car News China says that this vehicle is in a segment, in a niche that people love. These are selling really well, these small electric vehicles in China. I really think they'd be popular and a great car for like inner suburbs, you know, city streets, especially European city streets where there's really narrow areas. I mean, to be honest, where I'm living right now, this would be great for parking. There's all these clowns parked out on the street. I don't even know who they are, but anyway, or where they live, but they're parked right in front of my house. If I had something like this, I could park there much more easily. So really good in so many different ways, these kinds of small cars. Plus, remember, if you want to save money, invest your money, you know, invest in stocks, whatever, this is a good way to do it. Get a cheap car like this. Guys, what do you think? Am I crazy? Do you think these things are dangerous or are they a real possibility outside of China? Thanks for watching.